All right, so my potato phone, uh, you know, it died in the middle of part one, so I had to make a part two. I'm sorry if you don't like multi-part video series. Uh, so right now, the China regulator's in. It's kind of tough to see, but there it is, and the little set screw is backed all the way out. And now I'm going to start this thing up using the remote start, and uh, you'll see where fuel pressure lies. So that's to show what will happen with a China regulator ported out, backed off. Uh, I can't give you before porting results, just trust me when I say it was about 90 pounds. Um, now I'm going to put the stock GM one in, back its regulator screw all the way off and uh, see where we end up there. Alright, now the China regulator is out, that's that guy right there, I got the OEM regulator back there so we're ready to start it up and you get to see what the fuel pressure ends up as As you can see, porting makes a pretty big difference. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I looked, so I couldn't remember. I thought it was 65, but I guess it's around 70 pounds of pressure that it maintains. And that's with vacuum on the dome, and that's with the set screw backed all the way out. So there's minimal to no pressure at all on that diaphragm, and uh, you can see that's what it ends up doing. All right, well, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if it works out for you, Matt.